What's up everyone, Doyler here, and it is finally time for my Christmas event analysis and value analysis video. I know this was, this one is coming in a little under the wire, but hey, it was the holidays, I was spending time with my girlfriend and her family, and just not working on too many videos other than that new free to play series. Before I jump in, just a reminder that the next giveaway will be for that CD key at 3000 subscribers, so be sure to hit that link in the description and get your entry in before it's too late. So, as you know, we have the Christmas event going on. The first thing I want to cover is the CD key is still active. So this code is Merry Xmas 2020. I already exchanged it as you can see. It will give you the Sword Flash Shia Christmas avatar. It will give you the um, chest for skins and it will give you an orange artifact of which I managed to pull a Fearless on a new account so can't complain there. Next up we have the four Xmas stockings. So you'll get all of these rewards once a day for seven days and they will build up. So even if you buy them today, you'll get all the rewards. The entirely free one, you'll get two candy canes, one bell, one super wishing coin and two heroic scrolls every day. The next two are 3,600 gems each, but you'll get two candy canes, one bell, one profit orb and three heroic scrolls. Um, generally speaking, uh, you should be buying these if you can. The These rewards alone are worth 4,900 gems, so you're profiting on them, and that ignores the candy canes and the bells. The third one is the same, um, and I'll cover candy canes and bells a little uh, later on in this video. And last up, we have the $50 um, stocking. Comes with a $50 package. This will give you four candy canes, one bell, 500 gems, and five heroic scrolls every day, so it's pretty awesome itself. And again, I will cover the gems per dollar and other stuff towards in a little while. Next up, we've got the snowman's gift. So complete a bunch of quests, get some rewards, similar other events that we've seen. So 55 star heroes is the max you can get for candy canes and spirit. 35 star quests will get you candy canes and spirit. Five six star quests will get you candy canes and gems. And one seven star quest will get you 15 candy canes and those 20 relics. If you haven't seen my how to earn relics, as well as a brief how to spend relics video, click that link that's going to pop up at the top. That should cover uh, at least some of that for you and really help you with your relic journey. The two I haven't completed yet are up to 2,000 summons to get candy canes and gold and light up 4C's 10 star avatar for 7 more bells and 30 relics. Next up, we've got our slot machine, the Bellrain Fiesta. So here's where you spend all those candy canes you earned to obtain yourself some Fiesta tickets, which you can then spend on rewards. It's a very basic slot machine, 50% um, chance for gloves, 33% chance for stocking, and 16.7% chance for hat. Different rewards based on what you spin. I'll show one off real quick right now. So we got three gloves and got 10 Fiesta tickets. You keep doing that until you are out. Um, I'll cover the expected odds of this as well in a second. I don't know why they added additional step with the slot machine, but adds an element of gambling so people can have some fun. Those Fiesta tickets you can take to the Fiesta store to buy 10 star puppets, 9 star puppets, 6 star light and dark puppets, selection chests, skin shards, shards, scrolls, a gold, and spirit. I will rank all of these as well, tell you where you should be spending those or, um, Fiesta tickets, just like I did with those starlight orbs. We also have the Merry Christmas gifts. So this was the event that I mentioned during my spoiler video in which you get to make your selection from basically two pools. You get one item from each of the pools and that is your reward. Um, so I'm gonna cover what I think the best are in each pool for those of you that are going to be making it up to each of these levels. So first up, we have the guaranteed free to play tier. So the left option, we get our choice between a lucky candy bar and an antlers cane. Generally speaking, Antlers King is going to be better. The only major use for Lucky Candy Bar is going to be Glittery or higher for Aspen, and sometimes Weird Whale, Flame Shrine, and Broken Spaces. That said, unless you already have a Splendid Antlers King, I'd grab that. Right side, we got our choice from Scrolls, Orbs, Skins, or Core of Transcendence. The, um, let me pull up my notes real quick. So the Core is um, going to be the a little lower value than the Profit Orbs, um, at 450 each, the profit orbs are worth about 1800 gems. The core is worth about 1500. But I think the um, the loss of 300 gems is worth it, at least for me to get the core. On a raw gem value, you should be getting this profit orb though. Next up is the $50 spend package. 
So from here, you can choose between a six star or nine star puppet. Nine star puppet's gonna be better value. And you can choose between light and dark shards or the orange artifact. Orange artifact is gonna be A, more useful and B, better gem value. Then we've got all of our higher spend tiers. At this point, for each of the other tiers, it's gonna cost uh, basically $170 for each tier. So this one, no choice, you get the new Snow Heart artifact, control immunity, HP, and energy, and upgraded. It is going to be basically required for endgame PvP, so keep that in mind. And basically similar to our resource chests, you should only be selecting dust or promo stones on a raw value basis, as they are by far better than anything else. That said, if you really need another resource, it's your decision. It's not a huge loss. I will be getting dust on all of them, because um, I need dust and it's valuable. Gift 4, another puppet selection. 10 star is going to be more valuable than even two 9 star puppets, so go with that. And relics are going to be more valuable than the orange shards that were also with the light and dark shards. Gift number 5, I haven't selected anything yet. That's because the left one is A, also, and also because I'm not going to hit this tier. But the left one is an artifact selection chest. It's really up to you what you need. That said, I wouldn't select anything other than a Rui, Crown, AMB, or Demon Bell, generally speaking. Rui, if you don't have any yet, for your Sherlock, for Aspen, and PvP speed in general. Crown's just always useful. It's attack, HP, and all damage reduce. AMB, once you hit Radiant, it becomes amazing. And Splendid's incredible. And Demon Bell, once you're finally building that energy funnel. Then, we've got a, another choice between um, Relics, Heroic Scrolls, and Profit Orbs. Uh, technically, value speaking, you should be going with the orbs. They are worth the most. That said, 80 relics. Um, you're going to lose out about 4,000 gems worth of value, but the relics will sort of let you get another artifact if you need it. So, raw value, go with the orbs. Um, more flexibility and chance to get a pay to win artifact, go with the relic. Gift 6, already chosen. It's another puppet. Go with the 10 star. It is the most value. And another resource chest with cores and relics involved. The dust is actually more valuable than the cores, but when getting the option of these two, I wouldn't get the um, cores. Sorry, no, it's not. The cores are worth 23,500 gems. Cores are by far the best in this option. Only get them. And last up, gift seven, another artifact selection chest. I'd honestly grab a snow heart if you're going all the way here. Get that snow heart glittery as soon as possible and start using it in endgame PvP. It will reduce your opponent's speed, so stay tuned for that. And this one, you get relics versus cores versus guild coins. I think the guild coins are technically more valuable based on the values I've used in the past. That said, I'd probably get cores unless you know you can really use the guild coins right now. Last up, we've got the $50 Christmas package. I uh, will cover the value in a second, but you get gems, heroic scrolls, candy canes, the Halora skin, which gives control immunity, HP, and attack. So this was very interesting to see. And that fourth stocking. So let's slide on over to some spreadsheets so I can break down the value for you guys. First up, we have those gift boxes. So this is gift box one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the options that either I said I would select or the best value one. So outside of the first selection, which is insane value because you're getting a pay to win artifact for a free to play player. Um, box number two, you get 405 gems per bell. Box number three is a bit inflated because it is using, what value is it using? There is a reason for this. Let me just verify why my value for this is a bit inflated. Oh, because um, dust is so valuable even though you may not value it that high. So. Technically, box number three is 666 gems per bell, then 360, 411, 356, and 400. What this really is used for is how I valued the bells. So I took the average of the first four, um, since I don't really see anyone going past that. Um, sorry. No, I used two, three. I used the all of the ones except the first one comes up to an average of 430 so i'm using a value of 420 gems per bell just to be on the safe side this will basically cover all of the packages and helps me sort of narrow down the upcoming um packages i'm going to show so next up i just wanted to break down the odds of each um winning combination in the slot machine how many tickets you win from each and sort of the expected value so to get three different ones you have a 61 percent chance Two gloves is a 12.5% chance, and so on. Obviously, it adds up to 
And then you see your tickets. So for your 0.4% chance of three hats, you'll get 150 tickets. So in the end, for every candy cane you use, you should expect about 4.75 Fiesta tickets. And that will help me value the candy canes in the next ones. So, similar to my Starlight Orb um, breakdown, Dear Doiler, what items should I buy from the Fiesta store and what are they worth? Generally speaking, buy the puppets. They are the best value per candy cane, or per ticket, sorry. Um, in order, you want to get 10 star, then 9 star, then those 6 star light and dark. Um, I took the average of the first four, since you can actually get to the elite light dark chest as a free to play, or elite five star chest as a free to play player. Um, gave me an average of 20.6. So I used, I believe 20, actually I only took the first three for my average. We'll see in a second. But basically I averaged the first three or four to get my values of each Fiesta ticket for the um, value packs. But for this screen, what you wanna know is you should be buying the puppets and maybe the selection chest. As a free to play player, you will get enough to get, if you do everything, the 10 star puppet, the nine star puppet, and the elite selection chest. So that's what I'm going to get on all my free to play accounts that max out this event. And I highly recommend you get those as well. Um, honestly, they also synergize well together. You're gonna have nine star food, 10 star food, and another copy of a hero you want or need. Um, again, skin chest is really high. Please don't value this at 3,000 gems. If somehow you are maxing out this event, get scrolls and other stuff before you get the skin chest. So next up, we have the Christmas package. This is the $50 package with the Halora skin. 2,500 gems, 50 scrolls, 30 candy canes, a skin, and a stocking. I value the candy canes at 97.375. That number comes from 20.5 gems per ticket, which was the three puppets, and 4.75 ticket per candy cane, which was the Fiesta breakdown which makes this $50 package 505 gems per dollar. Obviously, that's why I already bought it. Awesome value, and I'll cover the Christmas stocking value in a second, but if you're gonna spend any money during this event, um, I would probably get this, unless you wanna spend on the $70 chest to guarantee yourself the second tier of Christmas gift rewards. So the Christmas value pack, this is the $100 pack that I wanted to cover. So this is 5,000 gems, 120 scrolls, normal stuff, but adds 50 candy canes and 15 Christmas bells. That brings up the normal $100 value pack to 312 gems per dollar. So this is an awesome uh, event for you really mid to high spenders. Um, 300 gems per dollar is right in line with a good $50 skin pack during most events. So if you're going to spend, this isn't a bad event to spend on at all. And it turns out I forgot to include my stocking screen. Um, my stocking screenshot, but I did want to break that down really quickly. So that is 3,500 gems, and we'll open up the game again as well, so just so I can cover that now. So the fourth stocking that comes with that package has four candy canes, or well, 3,500 gems, which are worth 3,500 gems. It'll have 35 heroic scrolls, which will be worth 4,375 gems. The 28 candy canes, which will be worth 2,726 gems and the seven Christmas bells, which will be worth 2,975 gems. So that's where I got that 13,000 gem value from in that $15 pack. So hopefully that explains that to you. I know this video ran a little long, but hopefully that covers all of the value and event analysis that you need. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna help me get to 3,000 soon. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.